Bob for some apples. Kate, you're in grave danger. Finally, an adult who sees what's going on. Do I ever? Tonight we are under attack by sugar. Is that what you're being for the monsters? Sugar's the biggest monster of them all. Rot your teeth, keeps you pimples, and makes you fat. Wait a second. That's why I'm out here tonight promoting healthy eating through classic game of bobbing for apples. Want to play? No. Great, let's get started. Guys, when you can, four times up. Green apples are rare and worth more points in red. Oh, and only buy organic produce, watch out for worms and other parasites. Go. and teach her in the first year of school. So what are you in? Candy. Awesome. Wait, is this a trick? Aren't you supposed to be promoting dental hygiene? Of course, there is a sweet reward to help you remember your lesson. It's called positive reinforcement. Duh. Come again. And you do this a couple times, actually. Kept the doctor's way for a whole year. So in this time, more candy. Ain't no sense, but I like you. This time it's thirty. Give us our candy. Got something better than candy. Oh, here comes the catch. That's a toothbrush. Sweet tooth creepy treat card. Actually, that's pretty cool. Best prize we got, and it's the last one. You can play again, but from now on I'll be recording your high score for posterity. Sometimes personal stats are the greatest reward of all. Yeah, so collecting creepy treats is necessary. Go back over to where I was. What's up, kid? Oh man, you collect creepy tree cards? I see one Glock to finish my, tr my set. Trade you for a rare one. So, yeah, trading creepy tree cards is part of the overarching deal. List of things that you need to do. Alright, didn't I already go to this house? I did. No, wait, we have gone to the left. To the left, to the left. Everything we own and costume to the left. Okay, we've gone to this one. Because we must go to them all. Took a trait.
Your kids in your adorable costumes. I should have titled the stream. I can be. So that only old people like me would get it. Let's see. Hmm, gotta get back before the commercial ends. when you watched live television and it had commercials in it? Beverage Farm remembers. Please don't touch my dress of silk. Okay. It's fine, I won't be able to touch your dress anyway. Thank you so much for the sub. How are you doing? What's 
So yeah, everyone, if you're, because I set my OBS back up, I can't tell if anyone's actually watching or not unless they say something. But in in any event, in any event, let's let's just uh, let's go ahead and shout out Tess. He's a cool dude, and he subscribed. Boom, MLB the show 19. Nice. You can barely hear me. Okay, it probably has to do with um, the new way I have things arranged. I can uh, adjust that pretty quickly. One second. Okay, I've got the mic closer to me. Is that better? Better, worse, the same? The same? Mm. La 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 la. Okay, so that's better. All right, good, good, very good. All right, let us sally forth. Oh, I have to actually click on the game so the game audio comes back. There we go. Because I can adjust all those things. Yeah, it's just because I, you know, after moving, I reset everything up. I was trying, trying something a little different. but I'll take it down a little bit more. How about you new? Better, butter, good, bad. Um, I'm doing pretty good, Nathan. Thank you for asking. How are you the win? Okay, cool. Yeah, I had my microphone too far back. So, that's another part of it. Okay, sweet. Sweet. Okay, did I miss any houses? So Tess, I know you are acquainted with Costume Quest. How about you, Nathan? Let's see, you got anything new, Sadie? Okay. 
Disembodied hand. Counter attack on a successful defend. Very good. Egg on your face. Damage just an enemy for one turn. Increase HP. Okay, it's by um, Double Fine. If you've heard of them, they made Psychonauts. Make a lot of like super stylized indie games. Uh, also, Brutal Legend stuff like that. Yeah, they always are have really good music. Very highly stylized, like some of the best. I mean, I'm not sure if they're technically indie games or not. I think they are, but they're 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 tight regardless. I first plat one of those great wholesome ish games. I first plat. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, this is, um, Costume Quest is a very good, um, dude, yeah, Psychonauts is good, especially because Psychonauts 2 is about to come out. Yeah, you take Counter, and you take Egg. Okay. So, Costume Quest, is, as I was saying a little bit earlier, is a very good first RPG. Like, if you have, like, a younger sibling, cousin, or a friend who's never played one, it's a really good first one. Ah. Mrs. Putter Pam. It's about time you kids volunteered the school bake sales counting on you. Uh, it's, that's actually a very good question. I, it's hard to, I don't know what, what, what qualifies, if this would qualify as retro. I don't know what, uh, I think it was out on PS3 and 360. I'd have to look that up. So we have to get something pie for the putter pam. So we gotta find some fruit. Well, it kind of depends on what your definition of retro is. So yeah, PS3 360. So. It's not quite retro. That's why I didn't use the retro tag. Uh. Hmm. Now, granted, it's been long enough that I've played this that I don't remember. No, I was hoping to get... Fine. Bobbing for apples, if you think about it, is actually very disgusting. Most people do consider PlayStation 2 to be retro. Oh, I was just saying, if you think about it, it's just bobbing for apples is pretty gross because it's it's cold outside. God dang it! Thank you, Tess. All right, hold on. We'll fix it live, as as Link would say.
There, is that better? You know, since, since I'm taking time to stop and do this, let me look and see if I can figure out what I'm missing. Because for some reason it's not showing me how many viewers I currently have, like it normally would. <laughs> okay, so I guess there are a few people lurking. It's just that for some reason OBS is being ridiculous and not showing me who oh, everyone is here. That's okay. Eh. That's okay. Anyway. Gotta find a f some fruit somewhere. Party for patriotic heroes. Hmm. It's supposed to, but it updated or something, and now it's not showing the viewer count. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Your costume celebrates science and the monarchy. How's that patriotic? Look, I have a colleague and friend that steps so he might be able to inspire you. Just tell her I said it's a matter of manifest destiny. Got that? I have a manifest destiny. You should see a doctor about that. Here, let me give you this prescription. Statue of Liberté pattern. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to. It's just sometimes it's it's interesting just to know, I guess. Also, like, you know, if someone raids, like, you'd see how many people they brought with them, stuff like that, you know, is, is nice. Not in any capacity or requirement, but, you know, it's just a, a nicety. Although I did see a cheesy way to, like, do it, but it's, it's annoying. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to bother looking. Looks like I can, uh, oh, egg on your face. Let's do that to this guy. How do you guys like the Halloweenified um, overlay and stuff? Yeah, I feel that, man. You don't want to, like, stress out about it too much. So, actually, maybe not being able to see it is a good thing. Well, cool, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Let's just finish him off. Or almost finish him off. Now the fire finished him off. 
I love how the robot, when it transforms into battle mode, is kind of like a combination of Starscream, Shockwave, and Optimus Prime all in one. Busted by the yard cop again. That's the Hobo's Blues. Okay. Alright. So this opened up that path, which I will go down that path after I go to over here. Oh, I was saying bobbing for apples, if you think about it, is actually pretty gross because... It's like, it's, it's the end of October, right? So it's cold outside, and you're getting your face wet, and you're dunking your face in the same bucket as all these other people, getting their, like, snot and drool and germs and everything. Yeah, dude, Optimus Prime dies a lot. That protects me from the water. Let's go through this side room. Got the sheet. Yeah, I mean, Oct Optimus Prime died in Beast Wars also, technically. So I've got to make this costume, and I've got to find... Oh, hold on, I bet I can go past this guy now. Yes, I do. I do want the whole neighborhood to hear. Well, in that case, you should take heart, because he always comes back. Did it, Statue of Liberté? Actually, it's a symbol of freedom from tyranny, which is a different and more inclusive concept than loyalty to country. Well, that's still just on the guy's party, right? Oh, totally. So. Quick hot take, what's your opinion of Optimus Primal and Beast Wars? Oh, Krillin. Hey, well, okay, okay, alright. Krillin married Android 18, had kids, and, you know, was actually pretty successful in life. So, real quick here. Uh, uh, uh. 